So Apple just announced their latest AMD Radeon Pro Vega 2 and AMD Radeon Pro Vega 2 Duo graphics card for Apple's latest Mac Pro Cheese Grater Edition. These latest graphics cards from AMD will be based on the 7 nanometer process node, offering higher performance with much better efficiency than the currently available 14 nanometer based Radeon Pro Vega graphics. Both are using the latest Vega 20 GPU, which was currently available on the Radeon 7 graphics card and now aiming the Radeon Pro market. It utilizes the Vega 20 GPU architecture, which is a refinement of Vega itself on a 7 nanometer process node. The two products in the 7 nanometer Radeon Pro lineup for the Mac Pro include the dual chip powered Radeon Vega 2 Duo, Radeon Pro Vega 2 Duo, and the single chip powered Radeon Pro Vega 2. Some key capabilities and features of the AMD Radeon Pro Vega 2 GPUs do include leading edge compute performance with the AMD Radeon Pro Vega 2 GPU delivering up to 14 teflops of single precision FP32 performance and 28 teflops of half precision FP16 performance. It also has support for Infinity Fabric Link GPU interconnect technology with up to 84 gigabytes per second per direction of low latency peer-to-peer -peer memory access. The scalable GPU interconnect technology enables the GPU to GPU communications up to five times faster than PCIe Gen 3 interconnect speeds. The ultra-fast HBM2 features up to 32 gigabytes of high-speed HBM2 memory transfers for around one terabit per second or terabyte per second rather, of memory bandwidth providing the memory capacity and data transfer speeds required by today's high resolution multi-display setups, 8K video and other demanding content creation workloads. When it comes to specifications, we will start with the single chip variant, which is based on the full 64 CU enabled Vega 20 GPU and houses 4,096 stream processors. The chip has a rated max clock of 1.7 GHz and can deliver a peak throughput of 14.2 teflops. The chip makes use of an infinity fabric with transfer speeds of 84 GB per second. The chip also comes with HBM2 stack DRAM with up to 32 GB in capacity, operating at 1 TB per second along the 4096-bit wide bus interface. The dual chip has twice of everything of the single chip. Makes sense. It's math. The AMD Radeon Pro Vega Duo is the first dual chip Radeon offering on the high end platform but aimed at the pro market. This graphics card has 128 CUs or 64 per GPU which make up 8192 stream processors and the card will carry 64 gigabytes of HBM2 VRAM and can deliver up to 28.3 teflops of compute performance in single precision workloads and well double that for half precision. So AMD and Apple have also developed a new type of Connect module for the latest Mac Pro series known as the MPX module. The platform starts with an industry standard PCI Express connector and then for the first time in a GPU an additional PCIe lanes were created to integrate Thunderbolt and provide increased capability. With up to 500 watts, the MPX module has the power capacity equivalent to that of the entire previous generation Mac Pro. Of course, AMD and Apple aren't stopping there. Each Mac Pro will have the option to use two of the new AMD Radeon Pro Vega 2 series cards, so you can essentially have a Radeon Pro 2 Vega Duo with two single chip base cards, and if you're looking for and even higher performance, you could just plug in two Radeon Pro Vega 2 Duo graphics cards and get 128 gigabytes of HBM2 VRAM and 56.8 teflops of FP32 compute or 112.8 teflops of half precision compute performance, which is simply insane. Other than the graphics side, the new Mac Pro will utilize up to a 28 core Intel Xeon class chip with 64 PCIe lanes a 300 watt plus TDP cooler with heat pipes and three impeller fans. Support for up to 1.5 terabytes of DDR4 2933 ECC memory in a six channel configuration and over 28 PCIe expansion slots. Keep in mind that the base Apple Mac Pro configuration costs 6,000 US and that isn't even including the seven nanometer Vega 2 GPU and the price for the top variant could end up being closer to around $50,000 figure, 
which is insanity. And this is all without the cost of adding the new display to which could cost you another five grand plus. So we know that the Pro Vega Duo is built for Apple right now, but would you love to see this form factor changed and brought to the PC market? Or would you rather them just leave this one to Apple? Either way, let us know down in the comment section below. This has been Keith with WCCF Tech TV. Make sure you're subscribed and hit that notification bell so that we don't miss you in the next one.